Thanks for having me. Excited to share about the answer. Um, so what are we? Uh, well, we believe that in the next five years or so, almost all the uh, tech teams in the world will have some sort of AI assistant to help them with almost all of their work-related tasks. And our goal is to be the default application that people think of anytime they uh, imagine Gen AI at work. Um, so anytime someone wants to ask a question or explore a new topic, uh, or just be more efficient by having Gen AI help them, um, then they should come to the answer. Um, yeah, and so uh, how are we different from like say ChatGPT? Well, imagine uh, you know the AI having access to all of the knowledge of not only the team and all the documents that you have, but also you as a person. So then you're able to ask questions like, uh, what are some of the features that we promised our biggest customers? Or uh, what did we talk about last stand-up? So Nancer was actually inspired by a problem that uh, me and my co-founder faced while we were at uh, some fast-growing tech startups previously. Um, so I worked for uh, about three years in uh, deep learning and working with the transformers architecture. But I was also uh, an early joinee of uh, Alation um, in the early growth stages. So I had a, a part in building out a lot of different parts of the application. Um, Chris was a tech lead at Robinhood. Um, and so what this meant was that people just kept on bombarding us with questions because we were knowledgeable about uh, so many different parts of the, uh, of the product. And we thought, hey, what if there was an AI that was connected to all the knowledge and could not only find uh, the right information, but also explain it to people so that uh, you know, uh, people can begin to self-serve instead of uh, asking uh, us questions all day long. It turns out uh, this message resonated with uh, a ton of people. Um, so this is our open source traction. Um, and I think it resonated actually so well that uh, we're now the biggest open source project in enterprise search. Um, and additionally, uh, all of our customers have come and done. We've never done a cold call and we've never reached out uh, through any of our connections in the industry. But even, even then, uh, we have some absolutely amazing customers. Um, this slide is actually a, a, a little out of date now. We're uh, past the half million ARR mark. Um, and you know, all of this has happened very quickly. We only put out the uh, paid features less than seven months ago. Yeah, and we uh, attribute a great portion of our success to our amazing community. Um, as you can see, they're uh, very passionate about what we build. <laughs> And yeah, we have uh, some absolutely amazing partners as well. Um, we were part of YC actually only uh, earlier this year, uh, but now we're backed by First Round Capital and Coastal Ventures, as well as some of the St. Angels. Um, maybe you know some of the people here. And yeah, I, I might be a little bit biased, but uh, I also think that we have some of the most interesting uh, technical challenges out there. So um, in the interest of time, I'll, I'll just share one of them. Um, so what is organizational understanding? Well. This is uh, based on what people have written, based on all of the projects that they've worked on, their conversations, the questions that they've asked, and their role within the organization. Uh, we should be able to accurately understand where uh, they're an expert of, so that if a question comes through and it's not answered by documentation, then we can surface the right person for uh, the person asking to talk to. So this is the team today. Uh, we are still very small. Uh, only five people currently. Uh, everyone is uh, highly technical. Uh, we are looking for engineering primarily, but uh, if you have an interest in growth or marketing, uh, please reach out as well. 